Welcome to the The Generation Podcast, an audio resource dedicated to a generation of young people who are committed to total surrender to God and total dependence on His power to reach the world with the gospel of Christ. This podcast is designed to strengthen and encourage through a series of Bible-based practical talks. In today's episode, evangelist Bobby Bosler will encourage you through a simple discussion on worth. Can God use you? Stay tuned to learn how much you are worth to God. Welcome to the V Generation. My name is Bobby Bosler, and I am just so excited about all that God is doing. You know, I've been thinking about this. Um, I've got to figure out exactly what to call you all, those of you who are a part of the V Generation. And I think I've settled on something, but I'm not exactly sure if it's going to stick. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of calling you all the Jenners, T-H-E-E-G-E-N-E-R-S. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know if that'll stick or not. But I do have something on my heart for you here today. In 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, it tells us, But ye are a chosen generation. Now, he's contrasting those who are unbelieving, those who are disobedient, with us, actually. Uh, One of the things we draw from this verse is that our life is supposed to be a contrast to those in the world around us. But, you know, as I've spent some time meditating on that phrase, you are a chosen generation. I've got something I think is really going to be a blessing for you here this week. Get this. Your life has worth. You know, I'm talking to some young people who've probably felt pretty worthless from time to time. I know I've been there. I know there have been times where I've blown up at somebody or I've, uh, I've done something and uh, the secret darkness that nobody else knows about, uh, whether I've just done something dumb, stupid, sinful, wicked, rebellious, whatever it is. And I know on the other side of those dark moments, I feel pretty worthless. <laughs> I feel like, man, <laughs> um, what could God ever see in me? But the good news that I want you to understand is this. God commendeth his love toward us. And that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. You see, God saw something that he wanted in us. And I want you to know it's not just your potential. It's not just what you can do for him. It's you. God apparently (laughs) valued you and I so much. The 2,000 years ago, he sent his son as the ransom to rescue us from the consequences of our sin. Jesus loved you and I so much that he spilled his blood, that he emptied himself and became a human being um, who suffered the pangs of death, who suffered guilt and, and punishment for crimes that he had never committed and uh, punishment that he never deserved. And he did that because he valued you. You know, there may be some people in your life, maybe they don't value you like they ought to. Uh, Maybe people have said things like you're worthless or you'll never amount to anything. Can I tell you this? It's a lie. They might not find value in you, but I want you to know the one person who matters in all of this universe, he finds value in you. How do I know that? Because it says right here that you are a chosen generation. We choose things that we want, right? If you go to the store and you like a Twix bar, (laughs) you're going to pick up the Twix bar because you value it, because it it has worth to you. If you go and buy a car, you're going to buy one that you like or maybe one that you can afford. If you're going to get something, if you're going to spend good money on something, you want to get what you want, right? Well, God didn't spend money on you. He spent his son on you. And he did it because you have great value. Your life has worth. So live like it. You know, a lot of times we throw around things that we ought to value because God values them and we treat them as worthless. How about your purity? Do you realize your life has worth and you don't have to spend your life giving your purity away to other people? Your life has great value to God. So live like it. 
Live like your life is valuable to God. Don't live your life aimlessly. Don't live your life on worthless pursuits. Live your life for what God wants you to live it for. Okay, so you are a chosen generation. God looked down from heaven and saw you wallowing in your sin, and he said, I choose you. I love you. I want you to be saved. I'm sending my son to die for you, and I want you to be with me for all of eternity because I care about you. I want you that much. See, if you realize that you have value in the eyes of God, You don't have to try and find value or buy value with people. Girls, you flirt with the guys because you want to find value. Guys, you try to do crazy, stupid things and drive your car real fast because you want people to look at you and think you're something. You don't have to prove that you're something to people because God has already proven that you have value to him by sending his son to die for you. Thanks for joining us for this episode of the The Generation Podcast. For more faith-inspiring resources and information about joining The Generation, please visit thegeneration.org. That's T-H-E-E generation.org.